Hey guys, William Brandt back here with another ClickFunnels video for you. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use ClickFunnels if you're an affiliate marketer. Uh, there's a couple of different th reasons why you would want to use ClickFunnels or any page builder really. Um, but if you already have a ClickFunnels account, then go ahead and use it. Or if you don't have one, here's another reason why you should get one. So um, here I'll go ahead and switch over to my screen. And as you've probably seen millions, well, I don't know about millions, but a lot of successful <laughs> affiliate marketers, you'll see when they are promoting the affiliate products, what they'll do is they'll offer bonuses. So how can you do that with ClickFunnels? You can create a bonus page. Uh, here is a promotion I was running for Affiliate Psycho, which was a WSO that launched a little while ago. And um, in it, I created a quick page, just borrowed, you know, grabbed the headlines basically from the page itself. I recorded a quick video going through the, over the product, what I liked about it uh, and everything, and then links to it. And then also, hey, here's my bonuses if you buy. And I talk about those bonuses in the video as well. Here's all these bonuses you can get. And then all of these buttons just link to the sales page for Affiliate Psycho, which is what I was promoting. So I just made sure, you know, my video covered what was in product and everything. Um, you know, why the bonuses I was providing kind of went along with the product and everything like that. So... You know, that is one reason why to do that. And then you can also deliver your bonuses as well. You know, with JVZoo or um, Warrior Plus, if you're offering bonuses, when you log in to your affiliate area, and let me see if I have, can bring that up real quick. Um, So when you are an affiliate, all right, there we go. So say I'm promoting this. When you go to click, get your links and get those. And then there's this add extras button next to your link and you can add a bonus. And in there you can give it the bonus name and you could give it a bonus URL. What I would use for this bonus URL is another squeeze page or an opt-in page. That way you're getting people that have purchased it on, on a buyer's list. That way you have you know your opt-in list and you also have a opt-in list of buyers. These are people that have bought affiliate products from you. Um, they're gonna be added to your list. And what that all that is is a simple page like this says, hey, enter your information here so I can deliver your bonuses. They do that, and that's building your list. And you know these people that on this list are buyers. The reason they're getting to this page is because they've purchased, they've gone into JVZoo or Warrior Plus to pick up their product. They've clicked the link that says get my bonus, and they've entered their email. And then you have just another page like here which has links to download your bonuses. Now, you may be asking, where do you get these bonuses? A lot of affiliate launches, um, if you look at the JV page, they will give you bonuses that you can give away. That's what you see, um, you know, there's two different sections. One section is bonuses that the affiliate said, hey, you can give these bonuses away when you're promoting this. And then these other bonuses also came from, um, the site and it was let me see do I have it up oh okay so here we go um here I'll put a link for this down in the video below it's a bonus vault and here is just 40 different I think it's 40 right now um and 40 different bonuses you can add and it gives you you know you can view these products as your own um, to look at them and get information or you can get them as bonus and I'll give you different um, you know, Graphics that you can use on your bonus page 
and it'll give you the link to download the product itself and then you can just you know come into your bonus page and get the product when I edit this page set the action I can just put in the the link to that bonus so somebody can come in here and order it and download it directly once they've gotten that so that is one thing to do if you're uh, using ClickFunnels and you're selling affiliate products and I would not send these pages out to the general public um, to cold traffic I would send this to my current existing list people that already know who I am and so I would say hey hey guys guess what I this new products launching I did a review and I'm offering some bonuses go ahead and check it out and that would be to my warmer traffic for cold traffic you know if I was uh, buying solo ads trying to build my list um, or doing some type of paid ads or doing ads on Facebook or whatever um, I wouldn't send them directly to that bonus page I would just go ahead and send them uh, to the sales page because that sales page is going to sell them a cold customer better than I am than, some, than me doing a review if they don't know who I am especially if I'm selling a product by somebody that's well known so what I could do though um, instead of sending people directly to my affiliate link so they get that sale is build a cold traffic opt-in and here I'm just going to go ahead and build this from scratch to see how easy it is. Um, I'll just use this template. I would go in up, edit the page. And again, I would just go to the, the sales page of the product I'm promoting and seeing you know what's their pitch, what are they talking about? And yeah, I probably just used their their same headline instead of uh, how how we make quick and easy three hundred forty three hundred and four dollars daily. So I even leave it disco discover and 3 of 482 daily and you know say that this video reveals everything. Yeah, you know, I'd spend a bit more time on this. Um, obviously, make it a little bit better, make it a little bit more appealing, but saying, hey, go ahead and opt in on the next page. There's going to be a video that's showing you the number one method for creating $384.82. or and that video is this sales video right here because that's exactly what that sales video is doing. It's showing you what their method is and it's trying to get you to purchase uh, that training from them. So that is that. And then I'm building a list of people that would be interested in affiliate pro products. They may not have purchased. Uh, they may have purchased, but I'm building my list in the process. And so if you're doing solo ads or something, you know, not everybody's going to buy, but hopefully enough people are going to buy this that it's going to pay for your advertising. And basically, you're just building your list for free at this point. And then from that point, when you do have your list, you can come back. And on your next promo is when you would have, you would go ahead and send them your, they would be warmer traffic because you'd send them emails. And the next uh, promotion comes up, you can go ahead and send them your bonus and your review. Um, you know, that also helps warm them up some because you know, go ahead, get on video, talk to them about the product, uh, what you like about it. Don't be afraid to tell them what you don't like about it. Um, that, that stands out even better. And, you know, that's also a great 
opportunity for you to present your bonuses. Like, hey, this method, it was really great. I love the training they did, but they didn't go into enough detail about this certain aspect. And that is what my why I've added this bonus, because this bonus, I believe, you know, fits that hole that is missing from the product. You know, that way it ties everything together. You're giving your honest opinion um, and you're offering assistance to people. So those are how I would use ClickFunnels or how I do use ClickFunnels to promote affiliate products. Um, if you didn't want to build a list, uh, I don't know why you wouldn't want to. Uh, I would strongly, you know, always advise that you definitely want to build a list in this process. Um, and not send people directly to the affiliate link. But another option would be to build a bridge page where you're not necessarily collecting the lead. Um, but yeah, it's, it's along the same side lines as the opt-in page. It's just instead of having to opt in to go to the next page, it's just a, you're clicking a link on the page to go to the next page. And there it's the same idea where you're kind of giving an introduction to the product before you go into the product, which is good for, you know, again, for your warmer traffic people that are already on your list. Um, but for the colder traffic, I would definitely go for the opt-in first. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Um, down below in the description, I'm going to go ahead and paste a share link for this. Um, and if you don't know what a share link is with ClickFunnels, if you have a ClickFunnels account, you click on the share funnel link and it will automatically import this into your account. That way you have these pages um, and then you could just go in and if you are doing affiliate marketing, you, you have the basic template and you can just come in and you know whatever product is you, it is you're promoting, change out the headline, record your own video. You know, I did these colors because it kind of matched with the colors of the black and red um, and white of the sales page. You know, if the sales page was different, I would just come in. You know, maybe it's a lighter color. So for the background color, maybe I would do like a blue color. And then for the buttons, do that. You know, so it's the same exact page, but it looks a lot different just by changing the colors. And maybe these colors match more with the next product that I'm promoting, you know, and then uh, you can fill out your bonuses down below. You know, I'll also drop the link down below in the description if you want to get access to that bonus vault that has all these uh, bonuses for you already in there. Uh, or just create your own. It can be anything. It can be just a you know, jumping on a video and saying, hey, okay, here's where the program fell short. Here's how I would do it. Um, even doing your own case study of, hey, this is how I implemented um, what I learned in the, from the product. This is, you know, and do a case study of the product itself and your results from it and show step by step how you did everything. So I hope that helps. Um, if so, go ahead, give me a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next video.